assalamu alaikum and good afternoon for all my dear students as you know that after a long gap i am back with you already many of the students are aware of me yes my name that is i am nilofar pathan madam and i am back with you with the same subject as ss right so in 6 standard you have the online classes but we met together for for 2 3 days now again according to the situation you are at home and again we have to start online classes for you so hope my children you are well fit and fine and i also hope that you all are observing all subject teachers video plus pdf file for completion of your work am i right yes okay students so without wasting much of your time let me proceed with our subject that is social science social science i am going to start with the history topic that is chapter number 1 pressing changes pressing changes means we are talking about the century before the world right where the centuries was running out with 11 C E that is century before a time ago. How our India and how our situation was rising and bring the changes for the better development. But here we will first go with the pressing that we how the pressing has been developed and make lot of changes to make with the new generation as compared to the new technologies. Right. So here we will talk about first map. As in sixth standard, you have learned in SS or mobile in the TVs or in the mobile. You all are aware of map of India, right? Map of India. I am not having a good drawing, but then also I will try my best to have the drawing. In map of India. In map of India, we have the south part of our. India in the south direction. This is our water bodies, right? Which is in the south direction. Where in our map of India, according to the today's map, see, Sri Lanka is in the south position. But during that century, which we are talking about, 1154 CE, in 1720, a biggest cartographer cartographer meaning is a man who sketch or draw the map that name cartographer was al idris right so here the cartographer name who is arab geographer or al idris have drawn the first map that was map of india but that map was described in the persian language because that time the english french language was later on developed right so that time arab cartographer whose name was al idris has sketched the map in opposite direction for suppose i have drawn here the map of india in map of india the north part is full of himalayas and south part is full of water bodies right where we have one side bay of bengal arabian sea and indian ocean in same purpose we have the sri lanka as our neighboring country which is in south direction but in this map right which we are talking about one map which was drawn before the 1154 century ago that time this direction was in the north direction it means to say the sri lanka is in south direction in our map and during that arab time the sri lanka was in north direction therefore they face a problem and easy way for the transportation right so clear about that cartographer the cartographer meaning is again i will repeat the man or a person who sketch or draw a map so here we have talked about one of the cartographer whose name in the arab that was al idris after 1720s a french cartographer right that is a english prodigious what he has done a french cartographer has take the help of that map which was published in 1154 by al idris what according to him he has done 
he has find out the sea routes in a proper direction according to our water bodies right in the water bodies he has find out that actually according to our direction of the map of india and the country which we are talking about sri lanka it should be in which direction in south direction because location is toward north to south it means it is totally opposite direction that map was written in a arabic language which is called as persian language and after the english brought in use a french cartographer in 1720s has changed make a lot of changes the same map which was written in persian and in opposite direction the same thing the person has reversed it out he has reversed totally the map into the opposite direction and also changed the language which english language has been written which we have written as states capital you all have referred the map book at last book where you find lot of units neighboring countries water bodies which we can easily read in a english language so this is a introduction topic which we have talked about the language changes which has done from the persian to english and then the language development has start moving fast with the history part right and then lot of changes we will discuss further in the next class so clear my students okay fine so i hope you all are going to do your best and hope you if you find any difficulty you can ask me you can give the comment so that we can get it that still the concept is not clear so we can repeat again and i will also help for you in any way whenever your doubt is there i will try to sort out your doubt so student clear thank you very much so we have talk about the map right so here we will first mention that map number 1 which was prepared or sketched by the al ijaz in 1154 common c means common a right so map 1 map 1 is the map which was written in a persian language and map 2 that is the map which we are aware in our today's generation right so that is map 2 which was changed after the 720s by the french cartographer so here map 1 and map 2 now i think you are totally aware that what are the pressing changes as for the example and the introduction we have started with the idea of map 1 and map 2 map 1 which i have shown you that all the trees have sketched it out our south direction which was included in that first map in north direction and after the 1720s when english french cartographer have sketched the new map that is map 2 right according to r we know that map of india is in this direction where our water bodies is in the south part with our neighboring country that is sri lanka so up till now whatever i have taught you it is clear to you right right okay now let me proceed with the another topic that is new and old terminologies that is new and old terminologies what we are going to discuss here we are going to discuss that which are the old things which have changed into the modern generation for example i will give you the name of hindustan I hope you all are aware of the word that is Hindustan. Before the century ago, our country is named as Hindustan when it was the Persian language which was ruling it out. In Persian language, that time our country has given the term as Hindustan. That is the old terminology. According to now modern Persian, what is there? The same country name which is Hindustan have changed. and term to be known as india right so first old terminology is the name of the country which is given as hindustan and after the changes in development according to the modern generation the same country today is 
term as India, which we all are aware of our country that is India, right? So here there are many more examples that which are the words which is derived or which have deprecated from old to new. Like if we talk about Persian language, you know Persian means it is Arabic language, right? The Persian language which was going on before it was totally different, and now today which you are learning it is a modern Persian. Same the English, the word meanings which you are learning before the time. Same that word is to be today term as vocabulary, grammar, and glossary, which stand for lot of different meaning. According to the changes over a time. Now, modern technologies. There, you all are aware of Google's and etc. Apps, where you find lot of new invention, new apps, and new word meaning also. That was a time where no technology was developed, and people have to suffer lot of difficulties, and they have to follow the same thing. But there are many techniques which. The terms which can be changed from old to the new. That only the lessons we are learning that how the dressing take a fast replace to have lot of changes. The second example which I will talk with you that is stranger. Before the time, you know that foreigner, the stranger. You know this word stranger which is called in English stranger. Stranger is the word which is termed in English as in Hindi we call the same word as Pardesi. Pardesi means the person or someone who is not a part of our society or our culture. That person in modern generation we term as foreigner also. So who is considered as a foreigner we can first aware of it. Foreigner are the person who is not belonging from our country. Or not either they are the part of our culture or society. Same this word in Hindi is known as Pardesi. What we call in Hindi the stranger Pardesi. In English we term as stranger. In Hindi we term as Pardesi. And in Persian that is in Arabic Urdu we call the same as Ajnabi. What we call that Ajnabi. Ajnabi means which we are not a connection or which we are not a part of that things, right? So these all are just a some example before you, so that you can know that how the old terminologies are changing into the new terms, right? So that the word which we have talked about from Hindustan, which term as India, the foreigner, which can be known into the three term with the different language, that is the person who is. As foreigner, right? So foreigner are the person who are also called as stranger in English, Pardesi in Hindi term, and Ajnabi in Persian language. So clear about about new to old terminologies? Okay, fine. Here I would like to also talk about one of a chronicle. Chronicle means a writer whose name is Minhas I Siraj. Minhas I Siraj was the first Persian uh, developed of language, right? He was the first during the before century ago. He was the first writer, which is called chronicle, who wrote the things and the terms in Persian language. That time, Minhas I Siraj was knowing about the state Punjab, Haryana, and some of the areas or the land which are passing. of ganga and yamuna that time that areas was under the rule of delhi sultanat which delhi sultanat is one type of sultan or table chart which very earlier you will learn in the next lesson right so every detail you will be learning from delhi sultanat but only just for introduction that how the changes bring more development i just giving the brief introduction same thing The first Mughal, whose name was Babur. The Babur was the first Mughal during that century who has also started the vegetation that is called fauna, right? That is about culture. That how to bring the development changes where the peoples are now gathering and what those things they have to 
politically form it out so the next was the mughal babu who has started to do the cultures and who has started to have the vegetation so that they are interlinked to the another but the main thing is that that they have not included the south part of india why they have not included the south part of india because the south part of india was under the controls of cholas dynasty which later on again in the second lesson we will be learning about the kings and kingdoms ruling in the south of india and how slowly slowly they are extended and they are under the control of delhi sultan in the history there is a link with all the chapters we have first started the changes second we will learn about kingdom and then we will go that after the kingdom the same reign was ruled by delhi sultan and delhi sultan after that mughals so there will be the continuous link link for you so that you can be aware that yes how the development and how the changes make our country to be the once in a unity so clear my students right so here we have completed the two topic that is first the introduction of pressing changes and second we have discussed about the new term and old terminology how they are derived and turned into the modern generation right in the next class we will discuss about the new topic that is about historians and their sources let me just to have the oral discussion that do you know what is history yes history means the things or the information that is already in the past according to that you know your textbook is also given the name as past past means whatever the uh, things or whatever the matters or whatever the sources already used and already pass it down the same things which we are learning we are repeating that is one type of history where we are knowing about those century what happened which type of development and what are the sources the people at that times were referring and using so i hope you all understood the lesson for today it is enough for you thank you students and have a nice day